What is going on guys? Justin or OVO update back again with another video and today we got a quick unboxing. Just got back from OVO Dundas and I got a t-shirt from the most recent drop uh, this past Friday. So I just want to show you guys quickly what I got. Um, before I get into this bag, I want you guys to comment and let me know what you ended up picking up from this release. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. You guys see the bag, just the classic plain black OVO bag. Uh, before you guys, I know you guys are going to ask in the comments. I'm filming in a new spot. Just have some cereal chilling in the background. Just This is kind of like my stock and inventory room or whatever. But um, maybe I'll do a little tour of this room when it's finished. Anyways, getting straight into what I got. You guys can see right off the bat. Um, first, I just want to look at the receipt quickly. October's very own Dundas, 54 Canadian dollars. Uh, that's including the 13% tax here in Toronto. Ovio Race graphic t-shirt in a large. So that is ended up what I ended up picking up. Quickly, I just want to go over the exchange policy. Uh, unwashed and unworn merchandise with original tags. 14 days from purchased uh, the collaboration items are all final sale which is new for the uh, new exchange policy anyways items purchased online may not be returned or exchanged in person at any OVO store so all online transactions have to be exchanged online so I just wanted to go over that quickly um, because I know I get a lot of DMs asking about Yo, what's OVO exchange policy, all that. So all the information's online or on the back of your receipts. So taking the blue t-shirt out of the bag, as you guys can see here, we got the barcode. Uh, it's on backwards, I don't know why, but whatever. OGL on the front of the dust bag with the R logo. I have already opened uh, this up just to try it on to make sure it fits because the OVO sizing sometimes can be all over the place. But first of all, just taking this shirt on out, the first thing that catches my attention and should catch all of your attention as well is this nice made in Canada tag. Now recently OVO, as you guys know, has been making a lot of their products over in China and the quality hasn't been bad. It just sucks to see that made in China underneath the owl, but whatever, there's not much you can do about it, but glad this piece, uh, one of my favorite pieces, one of my favorite t-shirts to come out this year is made in Canada. And you guys know from following my Instagram that the graphic on the back of this t-shirt is just insane, but the front October's very own, the font is absolutely amazing. It's raised up about a millimeter. If you guys can see that, 10 out of 10 for the screen print on this t-shirt. Um, looking at the bottom of the shirt, there is no OVO tab that they usually put on a lot of their t-shirts. Um, I'm kind of glad it's not on there, to be honest. It's, it's a switch up, it's a change, and I do like it. So, flipping to the back of this t-shirt, Boom, here it is guys. So this is the OVO race graphic t-shirt. I'm just gonna run down quickly of all of the logos. So here's the big logo that we see on the front of the t-shirt. All the logos you see here are brand new except for this logo, this logo, the on road, and that is it. This one we've seen before as well on the Know Yourself t-shirt. But other than that, all of these graphics are brand new. So. This is the one we see on the front of the t-shirt. Um, again, the red, gold, and green uh, logo here. Uh, lots and lots and lots of logos. Personally, my favorite logo out of everything on the back, definitely, definitely would have to be, I wanna say this OG Owl. This is an awesome uh, graphic. It was on the race long sleeve. And the Team OVO is really nice. They should have a Team OVO collection, uh, like how they had the Team October which would be really cool. The On Road logo with the OVO highlighted, which was also on the Varsity jacket. Really, really like this logo. Um, 
I think this t-shirt was made before the Japan store. That's why they have the Canada, USA, and UK flags only on the back. And the nonstop flags are awesome. I just want to talk and have a little conversation about this logo right here. Um, I really hope they end up putting this on a OG Owl hoodie because this race uh, checkered flag in the wing is just such an awesome logo. This is kind of like the, this one reminds me of like the Pepsi logo or whatever. Very clean and just a really good, do uh, good job in general with these logos. So yeah, guys, this is what I ended up picking up um, from Friday's drop. Let me know in the comments below what you guys picked up for the first drop of October. Again, guys, you're going to want to stay tuned and lock to OV update for the next drops in the next following weeks. Uh, look to see Roots Canada Goose come up in the next uh, week. So stay tuned, OV update. Um, before I get out of here, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what's on my October rotation. So yeah, guys, I'm going to show you quickly what I've been rocking in October. All right, guys, so I have this little rack I just picked up from Ikea. This hoodie I actually just sold. Uh, I do sell some OVO that doesn't fit me. This does not fit me. And it just does not uh, work in my collection. So I got rid of it for under retail, like 50 or $60 under retail. So hit up my personal if um, you're interested in buying OVO because I do sell some stuff on my personal Instagram. So guys, as you know, it's October, it's getting cold outside. It is hoodie season here in Toronto. So I got the UK OG Owl I've been rocking. Uh, definitely just an awesome hoodie. Keeps you nice and warm. One of my favorites, probably my favorite jacket. One of my favorite jackets in my collection. The October script floral, um, like silk sort of jacket. This logo is just insane. Everything embroidered. Made in Canada, of course, with a special tag. So I've been rocking this. Uh, went to some events, so I ended up wearing this. Of course, 2017 Ovio Roots jacket. It's Roots season. You guys see the details, so I've been rocking this a lot. Uh, on the back, of course, five stars. Quickly, let's talk about these hangers. Ovio needs to release a hanger collection. If that were to release, I'd buy about 30,000 of them. Ovio, please do hangers. Moving on, I haven't gotten the chance to wear this one yet, but I probably will uh, within the next week. This is the 2014 Ovio Roots Varsity Jacket. So far gone, thank me later, take care. Nothing was the same on the left side of the jacket. 20 and 14, and then of course, the gangs. OVO OMO top season wraps up. You guys see the jacket. Anyways, that is it for the OVO roots uh, I've been wearing in October. And this I haven't had the chance to bring out yet just because it hasn't gone that cold yet. Maybe towards the end of October. But OVO Canada Goose 2014 jacket. This is my favorite favorite Ovio Goose of all time, and I'm glad to have it. This is what I'm going to be rocking all winter long. And that is about it for my current October rotation, as far as outerwear and jackets. Of course, I got the Ovio tees on underneath, but that is about it, guys. So thank you for watching today's video. Um, you guys see the Bear Big Box right there, number 29 in Canada. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the future with a new video. Peace.